The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the Weymouth Community Access staff or its board of directors. WCA, in compliance with FCC regulations, is prohibited from exercising control over the content of independent member-produced public access programming. This is my hometown, yeah, this is my city The one I hold down, the one that rolls with me I'm about to show them how boss stands strong Welcome to my hometown, we boss stand strong I'm about to show them how boss stands strong Yeah, this right, man, we boss stand strong I'm about to show them how boss stand strong Cause we, cause we, cause we boss stand strong Hi everyone, welcome to Phoenix TV we're your hosts, I'm Journey. And I'm Nalia. Phoenix TV is a show run entirely by kids for kids ages 12 to 24. We have a great show in store for you, but as always, we need your help to make Phoenix TV even better. If you would like to be a contestant in our game show or have an event or activity you would like to see on the show, email us at tv at homeofthephoenix.org. Today we have clips from the Great Pumpkin Giveaway and the Friends of Foster Care annual Touch a Truck event. But that's not all. Don't forget the game show. We have a ton of entertainment headed your way. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, why unicorns aren't real. <laughs> the unicorn! Joe and Drayson. What up, buddy? What's good, bro? How you doing, dude? Pretty good. What have you been up to? Nah, I've just been showing, you know, doing my homework and stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah, you know. Been Yo. just keeping out of trouble. You want a cigarette? Oh, dude. You shouldn't be doing that stuff. Come on, man. Cigarettes you know you are no good, one. dude. Dude, should I'm mad cool. Come should on. stop smoking those things, dude. Ah, man. We're Put it cool. away, man. Makes us cool, man. Stay safe and clean out of drugs and smoking cigarettes, guys. All right, man. I got to get to class. This kid's a goon. Watch out for the cord, cord wire, wire. <laughs> On September 29th, Friends of the Foster Care held their annual Touch a Truck fundraiser. Phoenix TV and 43 Weymouth High students came out to show their support to this great organization. Friends of Foster Care is a nonprofit organization dedicated to enriching the lives of local children in foster care on the South Shore. They use money they raise through these events like this to sponsor programs such as sports, dance, karate, and special events so these children can participate with other kids their age. Friends of Foster Care helps lots of kids have a, a sense of normalcy. During a rough time in their t lives, it was a great day. Over 2,000 people came out to show their support. The footage says it all. And don't forget to like Friends of Foster Care on Facebook.
talking about the right mind, y'all. You and you and you and you. Welcome to Win in a Minute. I'm your host, Milia. Today we're here with Jess and Billy. Today the game is Tissue Takedown. Rules for this game are simple. Empty the tissue box using just one hand. No pushing, no shoving, and no kicking or cheating. First one done wins. Are you ready? Challenge begins in three, two, one, go! Did we go? <laughs> <laughs> oh. As you do! <laughs> <laughs> Remember, no shoving. Uh, I saw a handful there. You didn't see anything. Yes, I did. <laughs> Done! <laughs> that. Oh. Winner! Cheated. She cheated. I'm talking about the right mind, y'all. You, and you, and you, and you. On October 5th, Mayor Souquet and the Community Events Committee sponsored the Great Pumpkin Giveaway. The event was so huge, it took up both sides of Middle Street in front of Abigail Adams School, the Town Hall parking lot, and all of Libby Fields. There were new attractions like the Chili Cook-Off, Hay Rides, and Thomas the Train. Home of the Phoenix did face painting and coordinated 104 Weymouth High School kids volunteering that day. These students worked really hard to earn the community service hours they need to graduate. There were a ton of entertainment for the kids and local businesses that came out to show their Weymouth pride. The pie eating contest was crazy. There were so many participants, the contest had to be run in multiple heats. The battle was on and everyone got their faces covered in pie as they raced to be the first to clean their plates. The town gave away 7,000 pumpkins to kids who attended the event. That's a lot of pumpkins. Home of the Phoenix would like to thank everyone who chose our booth to make their donation and get their face painted. All proceeds from our table go towards upcoming events to better the circumstances of the youth in our community. Yay! I love women. About to show them how I'm Boston strong. Yeah, this right, man, we Boston strong. We about to show them how I'm Boston strong. Cause we, cause we, cause we Boston strong. When I put my mind to it, it's something you'll be surprised. When people say they're gonna do something, it's usually lies. Using the same excuse and they sound like a broken record. The clock is ticking, my dude. If you want it, then come and get it, uh. Cause I'm tired of waking around. Whack MCs taking a crown. I know they get ruined. Show they face in my town, 781, city where I came from, where I built my name from, and where I'm gonna remain, son. Even if I blow up big, I'ma chill at the stomping grounds. Always pull for 40 just for my homies who not around. We walk the town, we dip and we see the cops around. Trying to make it come up till dough is filling my pockets now. Just a dollar in a dream on my cold swag. I already show that when I find where the microphone's at. If you follow in footsteps, man, go back. Walk a different direction, homie, and start your own path. Hey, this is my hometown, hey, this is my city. The one I hold out, the one that rolls with me. I'm about to show my boss, stand strong. Welcome to my hometown, we boss, stand strong. I'm about to show my boss, stand strong. Yeah, this right, man, we boss, stand strong. I'm about to show my boss, stand strong. Cause we, cause we, cause we boss, stand strong. Basically what I'm trying to say in this song I'ma always hold it down to the place I know I belong Dub City, everybody come with me Cause when I was down in the dumps Y'all were dead to uplift me I sorted out my homies and the ones that are faking If you homie, you my family, dog. Even though we ain't blood related I know they riding with me even though I ain't famous 
Cause you haters gon' be kicking yourself in the ass when I'm the greatest Mark my words, I'll line the permanent ink I'ma make it despite of what all of you people think I'm building my name up and these haters turning to cheek Cause they got security, got an A in securities, huh But once the day begins, of course, I'ma take the win Rappers trying to bite me, but they barely even break the skin It's never facing them, I don't care if you hating them If I could do it all over home this is my hometown, yeah, this is my city The one I hold down, the one that rolls with me About to show them our boss, stand strong Welcome to my hometown, we boss, stand strong About to show them our boss, stand strong Yeah, this right, man, we boss, stand strong We about to show them our boss, stand strong Cause we, cause we, cause we, cause we boss, stand strong This is my hometown Woo, go Wildcat! Woo! Wildcat! I'm here today. We're just here, as you can see, enjoying ourselves. We're, there's a lot of things out here to do, like drinks, food, and activities for the kids to come out and have fun for the weekend, just in case they don't have anything to do. And there are, there's the hayride, there's the um, bouncy things over there, and we're just out to have a very good time. Hi, I'm Mike Taylor. I'm helping out with the service here. I'm I am uh, helping out of the uh, pirate. I am here at the Great Pumpkin Giveaway doing my community service hours. I'm here at the Great Pumpkin Giveaway with Storm here. It's my new girlfriend. I'm doing community service with Pump Pumpkin Giveaway and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Julia Harrington and I'm volunteering at the Great Pumpkin Giveaway. And I'm selling pumpkins, doing the pie eating contest, and I'm loving Weymouth. Alright, so, you know, we're at the Great Pumpkin Giveaway, you know, I'm doing my community service hours, you know, we're having fun out here, helping people set up their, you know, their tents or whatever, we're having fun, so. Um, everyone has, like, their own jobs, some people got here at different times, I was actually helping out with the parking, and, like, getting everyone set up in their certain spots, so it's just a great time, and I'm just getting my hours done as much as I can, We're having so. fun, you know. I'm talking about the right mind, y'all. Hello everyone, today we are, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Chef Doan. So, as I was saying, today we are making taco dip, a delicious dip that came from Mexico, I think. Anyway, where's my pan? Aha! Here it is. Now, the ingredients we need are cream cheese, soft as best, salsa, homemade or canned, Ta Mexican taco cheese, the li a lot or a little, your choice, and you also need chips. First, we spread the cream cheese on the bottom of the pan. It's best to use the whole thing. Good cream cheese. Good friend. <laughs> Next. You pour in the salsa. We are using mild, but of course you can use medium or spicy. There. Tostitos salsa is probably the best salsa to use. Next, you add the cheese. I suggest you sprinkle the cheese on the top. Lastly, you take out some chips and enjoy. Who wants to try some taco dip? Talking about the right mind, y'all. You, and you, and you, and you. The following is rare video footage. A candid interview with Carrie Dunn, founder of Home of the Phoenix. Carrie hates being on camera and has never before agreed to be on video. 
Here's what she had to say about her job at Weymouth High and the volunteer organization she started to help young people succeed. She knows she can't save them all, but she believes every young person deserves support, no matter what their circumstances. Carrie Dunn believes in second chances. It takes a village to raise a single child. Home of the Phoenix has some amazing volunteers helping young people find a better path. To rise above the ashes of their past mistakes. That's what Home of the Phoenix is all about. Okay. What or who inspired you to get involved at the high school? Well, um, in 08, my neighbor across the street was Mike Salvi. He was the head of security at Weymouth High. And he knew that my background, my degree is in animal behavior. And I've always been good teenagers in my age group. They're nobody else's age group in the world, but they're my favorite. And uh, he approached me one day that they had an open spot at the school, and he offered me the job. And I took it, and the rest is history. All right. What is the best part of your job? Um, I think the best part of my job is when kids turn it around. When they have been, and this typically happens, like, Freshman year, they come in and they're just a nightmare. And then maybe they come back the next year and they've decided they're not going to be that way. Um, I love that. I love when they figure out that they don't want to be the negative person that they were before. And if I can have a hand in making that happen, that's important to me. What is the worst part of the job? Um, I think the worst part of the job is when they fight because uh, typically I know something about just about every kid in that school. I might not know you personally, but a lot of times I spend time, you know, you'll come up to me in the hallway and ask me for directions or something. There's that little bit of a connection. And all of that means something. And when I get called to a fight, I'm looking at you and I know that whatever you fought about wasn't worth fighting about. It was a silly thing at the moment and I know that I feel for both sides I have that's the worst for me because I can't fix that what is it like to have so many kids in and outside of the school um, that's that's kind of an interesting one because I, I will be honest I don't go to the Weymouth Walmart because I can't get my shopping done without kids coming up to me but like Miss Don Don what's up um, I am, you know, everybody's mom. It's common knowledge that I, I'll be, I'll step in and help you out when nobody else will. And that sounds like a very conceited thing, but it's not. It's a, it's a genuine, it's a genuine gift that I like to give kids who need it. I'll, I'll be there for you. So I think that it's a blessing for me to have all those kids in my life and watch them grow and change and be successful in you know their lives and some of them go on like I you know when you get if you leave high school and you go in the Marines and you get shipped to Iraq I send you gifts every week I send you packages if you do something very successful I'll show up it doesn't matter to me where you are I'll come and see you get that award or get that trophy because I believe in these kids I believe in this town and I believe that it can change the way things that are right now it's the town's on a very negative path, but I grew up here. I've lived a lot of places since, um, but I believe in this town, and I believe that the kids deserve better. All right. What or who inspired you to start Home of the Phoenix? Um, this is kind of a rough one for me because I feel like every kid that I meet every day inspires me. So I worked at the high school. I was always um, in the hallways. I talked to kids every day. Um, some things about important things, some things about nothing really at all. But there was, you know, I got laid off after a while and budget cuts or whatever. And there was this one boy and he would come and talk to me every day. And he would, it was silly, but he'd ask me for a word. And then I would give him a word and at the end of the block, he would come back and he would have it written in Japanese. I'll never forget it. I still have all those papers in a binder with his name on them, and I'll save them forever. And um, once I got laid off, kids were coming out of the woodwork left and right, being like, you know, Miss Dunn, you were there, you helped me, and now you're gone. I have, you know, I have no one. I don't know what to do. And this one boy committed suicide. And I took it really rough, because even though I know that I couldn't have changed it, 
if I had been in that back connector, he might have said something or done something that I wouldn't noticed. Okay. Um, if anything, what do you get out of Home of the Phoenix? Um, I get to watch these kids succeed. Even if they fall a hundred times, eventually they, most of them, and I'm not going to lie, I've buried more than my fair share of kids that I believed in and will always believe in. Um, it takes two seconds to make a mistake that changes you forever. Um, what I get is that phone call that says, hey, guess what? I did it. You know, um, there's a, a, little, a little redhead that graduated in 2010, and she, that girl, could not keep her anger under control for a second. You would see her freaking out everywhere. And the other day she called me and she said, hey, this terrible thing happened, and guess what? I didn't flip out. That's what I get out of it. I get success that you guys all your positive lives are my success. And that sounds selfish, but it's not meant that way. It's meant that, you know, if I have to hold your hand so you make it past the negativity, that's a success to me. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm talking about the right mind, y'all. Lastly, you take out some chips and enjoy. Now, who wants some taco dip? Mine! What? <laughs> what just happened? Alex, get out of my face right now. <laughs> oh, it's going to take me forever. <laughs> return to your corner. That'll be a touch glove, make it official. All right, return to your corner and fight. Now get it. Mom video camera right yes, now. You are. Yeah, I am. What are you doing? I'm chilling, bro. I'm volunteering. <laughs> Dude, come on, put up a fight. So why are you, why are you volunteering for that? Because I'm a good Samaritan. That looks good. I love women. Oh, I'm gonna break it on your head, Alex. Hey. Everything that happens to have towards Jeff, and that includes Jeff. Just take a set, step towards yourself. Yeah, so we can <laughs> go that way. <laughs> no, that's too much. <laughs> do kids say, and uh, do we use telephones? No. no. Do we text? No. No. Do we socialize? No. A little bit, but we really pay attention to Alex. what Sensing we have to do. Keeping everyone safe. safe you know. There you go. Thank And that's why, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this girl is guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt. You're supposed to be defending me. Oh, I am? Yes, you uh, do. Um. Ah! I don't know. How do you find the middle? That way. Yeah, show them where the middle is. This way. There. Julia? Woo! That ain't cheese cheese that That ain't cool! The cheese puns are horrible! Let's go, bro! Made it a little it's longer. done. Should I have a break? Hi, I'm Nicolo. And I'm at the Great Pumpkin Giveaway. And I'm, I'm at the Great Pumpkin Giveaway. Good job, Can we have a recess, please? Please? Recess crunch. Oh, oh no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I want my one phone call, bro. Ready? No. Yeah, we're no. fine. We're fine. No, we're not. But it's upside down. I know. It's just like. <laughs> Swear I fell off at Chapman. I had to. I had to do it. Wait, I just messed it up. Can you not videotape me? This is nerve wracking. This program has been brought to you by Home of the Phoenix, a completely volunteer community organization that cares about the. Uh, the future of our young people. For more information on our programs and events, check us out on the web at www.homeofthephoenix.org or email us at tv at homeofthephoenix.org. 
That's Phoenix. P H O E N I X. <laughs> this is my hometown, yeah, this is my city The one I hold down, the one that rolls with me I'm about to show my boss, stand strong Welcome to my home